Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is part 2 of the series. Today we are going to high level talk about the introduction of Angular and Angular 17 in specific. The objective of today's episode is to give you an overview of what is Angular because a lot of you are new, you want to learn and this would set the tone for the rest of the series. With that being said, like I said, this is the part 2 of the series. In the first episode, I touch based on the list of new features that Angular 17 has to offer. Make sure that you go through that uh, and anyway we will be covering all those features as we move in this series. But you should have a high level understanding so make sure you check it out. Alright, let's talk about very very basic stuff, right? What is Angular, etc, etc. Angular is a framework which is developed and maintained by Google. A lot of products of Google itself are written in Angular. Right? So Angular is not only the producer of this framework, Angular is also one of the largest consumer of Angular framework. There are a lot of other enterprises which also employ and use Angular as their primary core framework for a lot of their uh, complex projects. Angular 17 is the latest version of the popular TypeScript based framework. That means Angular is TypeScript based, right? Now, how different uh, TypeScript and JavaScript are, that's a separate topic of discussion, but understand that TypeScript is more like a superscript which supports object oriented programming on top of JavaScript, right? Unlike if you compare with React, React is mostly written in JavaScript, right? But Angular is written in TypeScript. It's not very different from JavaScript, but it adds a lot of new features and functionality on top of JavaScript. One of the key features of Angular 17 is the new loading system, right? Uh, declarative control flow and differable views. Those are some of the two new striking things about the new loading system. Angular 17 continues to leverage TypeScript, which means it offers more improved tooling and developer experience with strong typing. Enhancements to IV rendering engine for better performance, smaller bundle size, etc. Right? Now these are all some of the things, but let's talk about the framework itself. Right? Now unlike React, uh, React is a library. Angular is a framework. Now what do we mean by framework is that Angular supports end-to-end -end batteries that are required for you to get the entire project done. It has a modular approach, it has component based architecture which means we create components, it has directives, inbuilt routing system, it has service for services, it has pipes, it has its own templates, data binding, interpolation, Angular CLI that is command line interface, you have the forms, you have RxJS integration, you have animations, you have signals, you have server side rendering, HTTP, testing and much more. That means once you select Angular, then it has everything that you need to run the entire project stack of development. All right? And that's what this particular series will help us because I'm going to cover all these topics and much more into deep dive into breaking down into all the use cases with live projects. So as we approach this particular series, I'll be coding hands-on in each episode new examples, not the ones that we have done earlier, but new examples. So that way you can learn live on how to build a complete project. So that's all about the Angular 17 introduction and the feature list that I'm going to cover. And this is all you should be uh, really learning about Angular if you are going forward. I'll, I'll keep things crisp. Um, Again, I am always open um, for you to reach out to me. Please write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. And if you have any particular questions or anything of those sorts, in the next episode, we will learn how to upgrade your existing projects to Angular 17. Okay. However, that topic is not sometimes straightforward uh, given the complex nature of different projects. But I'm going to talk in general about how you can upgrade a project. I'm going to show you an example. And from then we will start installation and actual Angular 17 coding. Once again, thank you so much for joining in this episode. Let's continue and let's learn and master Angular 17 with me.
Thank you.